Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to talk about buying a penthouse, investing in Toronto condo penthouses. Why would you like to do that? Well, there's a few reasons. I make a little list here. Let's go through it. So, a uh, quick introduction, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor, Mortgage Agent, Search Realty, fantastic company. Uh, this is my Twitter, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Go follow me here. When you do, you'll see the latest and greatest of everything that I post. I can't post everything to the blog or to you know my blog network, whatever you call it, my few blogs, but... I can to Twitter. <coughs> uh, yesterday, I visited the West uh, Condos Sales Center. Uh, West is a fantastic project by Aspen Ridge, and we're looking at penthouses, investing in penthouses. And what do you know? They have a few penthouses left. Those are facing south, and they're fantastic. But before I get into the details of why this and why that, I want to talk to you about the actual penthouse. Here is um, what I did is I took a picture with my phone, and then I highlighted... Um, in the graphics program, the four corners, the four penthouses in both buildings. And obviously, you know, depending on where they face and what's around you, your view will be different, but those are the penthouses. So let's go through the list and talk a bit about what, uh, why you should invest in penthouses and what's the deal with penthouses, okay? All right, uh, when we start with the penthouses, and, and here's an example of an article I did um, just a couple of days ago, and a few penthouses included. This is on my website called York Real Luxury Real Estate. Uh, this is where I, I keep my million dollar plus properties, Yorkville stuff, all the nice stuff comes in Yorkville, okay? Uh, it's got to be less traffic than the other side, but this is like the, the cream of the crop. So uh, here's, a, here's a, uh, what I did here, and I'll explain this article, and as I explain the article, I'll go through the penthouse list, okay? So here, here's a bit of a Google map of King West. It's embedded in the article, and you can see it's very, very busy, okay? So um, when you're in the penthouse, the first thing uh, you'll notice is the scarcity. It's very busy, but there's only one penthouse floor per building, per tower. So when you buy in the penthouse floor, you know, you only share it with just a few people, which is really good. And when, you, when you're going to sell it or rent it out, um, there's usually only one at a time, and they don't come online all the time. You know, like you tell me, Yossi, I want to buy a penthouse and fashion house. You may have to wait a couple of years. And when he comes, it's not going to be the one you want, or it's going to be too small for you, or too large, too expensive, or just not to your need. So when you find the penthouse, you know, you buy it. When it, when it fits, you buy it. So uh, red penthouse for sale, 355 King West. That's uh, King Blue. There's a penthouse at 10 Morrison here. Oh, sorry. There you go. Uh, that's not a penthouse, obviously. Um, there's some pe beautiful penthouse, 1181 Queen West Condos. That's uh, the scale building. And there was a, uh, a penthouse for 8.1 million, lower penthouse 1 at 38th Avenue Road, which is over the top. So what's the deal with penthouses? Okay, I'll start with this. Um, when you buy the penthouse, okay, there's a thing of, called scarcity. There's just not a lot of it, which I mentioned. So if uh, you got a building and it's a square, it's a square, you know, it's a square building, square floor, and say uh, each of the penthouses take a quarter of the floor, you get four units per floor. Uh, some buildings, for example, 224 King West, uh, Theater Park, right across from uh, Roy Thompson Hall, uh, the very top floor is just one unit. It's really large, obviously. It's got 360 views. It's got balconies all over, but just the one. Okay, the floor below, or the couple floor below, there's two units per floor. Usually, it'll be one facing north, one facing south, but you'll, they'll have east and west as well because they take half floor. So there'll be maybe two or three floors like that. Below that, you'll find uh, maybe four units per floor, each for corners. So you get the northeast, northwest, southeast southwest okay and as you go below that now you get you gotta get all the units in the middle and it's you know the smaller units but when we stay in a penthouse floor and sometimes we say upper penthouse lower penthouse um, that means scarcity there's just not not enough of them okay the second thing about these units they are usually the largest units okay like this unit here that's a massive giant unit um, because they take an entire floor half the floor they got a lot of square footage to sprawl on Okay, so uh, I'm just going to scroll down here. This thing is a uh, three-bedroom, five baths, 4,350 square feet indoors with three parking spots, three gas fires, five balconies, on and on. It, it just goes on and on. You go to Yossi, you can uh, go to Yossi.searchrealty.co. Uh, just click on this link here. It'll take you to all the listings for Yorkville. Okay, just, it just bounces to the listing. These are automatically updated, and you can see here. If I'm going to search by... Oh, I'm going to search by uh, highest price. 
Okay, in Yorkville I got 25 million, I got all kinds of millions here, um, but the 8.1, uh, it's not even here. Maybe it's sold off the market, or maybe it'll be in another search. But for example, you can see here, um, some of these units are very expensive because they're either penthouse or super expensive, and let me show you how to find a penthouse search. So when you go to uh, Urban Realty Toronto, which is my other site, okay, uh, and here is the West Condos, uh, at 89 to 109 Niagara, four penthouse is still available there. Um, you scroll down here, and there is a link called Penthouse. Before I click the Yorkville link, uh, I'm going to click the Penthouse link. I pre made that link so it just redirects to a search, and this will basically return uh, whatever you can find in Toronto with the keyword Penthouse. So I click on the filter here, okay, and then you can see I already inputted uh, all the main areas of Toronto with the keyword Penthouse. So if the listing agent, myself or someone else, had put the, the word penthouse anywhere in the listing, it'll show up. If they haven't, it may not show up, okay? Uh, but here we go. So 50 Yorkville, you got unit 5401 uh, at 12.9 million, 16 Harbor, 5401 at 7.2. And you can see the dollar per square foot, obviously much higher Yorkville than 16 Harbor because you can see the size is about, you know, just under 4,000 square feet here for the 12 million, 12.9, and 7.25 for... Um, over 4,500 square feet. So lower dollar per foot, still the penthouse. Okay, there's 290 Adelaide at uh, just under 2,000 a foot, uh, two bed foot here. I'm just guessing just under 2,000, maybe 1,800 a foot, and so on and so, and so goes. So the penthouse, um, it's the best unit, it's the largest unit, it's also the most expensive. Okay, and so why is it the most expensive? Why should we invest in a penthouse? Well, look at it this way. I, when I go to invest in a penthouse, okay, um, I'm getting scarcity. I'm getting, like I said before, the only unit of its kind that is available. Maybe this is not the best example because uh, the pictures are not that great, but you can see how high up you are. So the second thing is you get you get great views, okay? You get beautiful views because you're in a penthouse. You're in the top floor, especially here, you're facing south towards the lake. There's no one that obstructs your view, so it's just phenomenal. Um, the other thing that I have here is social status. You know, I live in a penthouse. I live in a penthouse that take the whole floor. I live in, you know, a penthouse that take 3,000 square feet or whatever it is. It is the penthouse. You get to live in a penthouse. It's really cool. Um, when you're investing, ask me about investing in penthouse. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but penthouse usually make a very good investment for long term, okay? Because scarcity, there's only one and they're the best. Other points about penthouses, they're a store of value. If you have $2,900, $3 million that you want to find a good home for, or $12 million, let's visit 50 Yorkville here, $12.9 million to buy this unit, okay, um, what happens is it's a store of value. Now, these units don't sell overnight, like the 500 square feet unit. This one is quite unique. A lot of them you'll see someone with, you know, like went all out. Here we got like a green seafoam kitchen. That's fine. Uh, there may be green on the wall. I can't really tell from this picture. Uh, but you can see it's got like lots of lights. It's got everything is unique about it. Okay, so this this is an art piece that was done by a designer specifically. Look look at this beautiful tub for the owners of this unit. Okay, and that's the beauty of it. That that's that's a laundry room by the way. That's not the kitchen. Okay, that's that's a laundry room that has everything you need to do laundry. That's proper. Okay, and some of your views are absolutely stunning, and the entryway. So that's the thing about buying a penthouse. Um, store of value. If you have a lot of money and you need to park it somewhere, you can park it in a penthouse. Because a penthouse is a very good store of value. It retains the value. And someone else will pay you millions of dollars to own that unit. Okay? Uh, 290 Adelaide, Penthouse 1. That's a very nice address. You know, It's pretty good, right? You can have a nice little party up in the sky here. Look at this. This is really nice. Brand new. And the other thing you'll notice in the penthouse, it's all upgrades and high ceilings. So you're looking at 10-foot ceiling, 11-foot ceiling, 12-foot ceiling, depending on the unit, and all the bells and whistles, all the upgrades. This has a, ga a gas fireplace in the middle of the room with uh, some beautiful marble um, for the chimney, or maybe it's a, a pillar there. Uh, beautiful indoor-out wraparound terrace. You can look over another um, penthouse right around there. That's pretty nice. Look at these views, okay? That's a nice, inspiring place to do your work. And uh, maybe because of the inspiration, you make the millions, 
then you need to buy your next penthouse, just another and another. Why not have a collection? Some people do. Okay, um, show you a couple more things. Uh, we looked at this. This is my uh, YouTube channel, YouTube slash Yossi, YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you very much. Everyone is watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. Everything helps. Uh, even if you comment down, it's still good because it helps. Whatever the comment, there are no bad comments, none. Um, you can like up, you can like down. It's all good with me. I love it. Either way, it's very, very helpful. So I hope you give me a thumbs up, but if it's a thumb down, that's also good. That's also helpful. Okay, um, let's talk about a few more things here. Uh, recently, I also posted an article called uh, The Top 5 Toronto Pandas for Sale. Okay, it's on Yorkville too. Yorkville Luxury Real Estate. I'll put the link below. You can click on it, bounce to the side, scroll down, you see it. And I've noticed there's some really, really nice penthouses I wanted to review. That's obviously uh, a cutout. I wasn't there. Um, but that is a 224 King Theater Park, what I told you before. That's just the one floor. The entire floor is one unit, one penthouse. That's very nice. And that's a proper terrace. You know, I can have 30 people for dinner here, which is really nice. Um, other noted was uh, 36 Young Street, uh, penthouse 34, which looks like a Louis the whatever. Louis the 15, we'll say the 15th. Sounds good. Uh, that's another photo from 224 King West. It's the floor is 47th. Okay, if you want to see if these are still available, just link, uh, click on the penthouse link, go to the page, and you can see if it's listed. If it's not listed, you might have sold or might went off the market. Um, just email me and I'll tell you if it's available or not. Okay, um, that's 290 Adelaide. I'll show you that's another picture from the other side. Uh, that looks like it's facing uh, west. Okay, how do I know? Because I can see, uh, I can see the neighbors. Okay, so I can see uh, Richmond here and 117 Peter here, so I'm guessing it's facing west. And down there is probably Spadina. Uh, 500 Wellington, just over there. Uh, lovely unit that takes the whole floor and it's got its own private pool. So a lot of people ask me, is the pool used for the, for the, uh, tent, for the residents of the building or not? Well, it depends. You know, buildings like the Thompson, Fashion House, uh, even 224 uh, King on the seventh floor, they have a pool that is for the residents that anyone can use. But in this case, this is a private pool that was built just for the unit. So some of these penthouses, they have a pool, even a little jacuzzi, which you can use, but it's only for you and your guests. That will make a good private party, my friends. I'm all for it. Okay, that's 16 Harbor, unit 5401. You can see the CN Tower. That's a nice shot. So here's the link, Urban Realty Toronto, uh, penthouse for sale. Just hit it. Going to take you back to what I talked about before, and that's the one. If you see what lowest price panel is available, now these go by keyword, so they, you, ha, you may have a miss here. If the word panels was mentioned, uh, it may come up, but 525 or 38 Joe Schuster Way is the first one that is listed as PH3. It doesn't mean that that one is not. That could be 29th floor uh, here in the Queensway. Uh, that could be that as the panels floor. I just don't know because they didn't mark it with PH. I'll have to go in and check. Okay, and the most interesting to me is, of course, look at what's new. So you look at the latest listing, just uh, and then you can see what just came up. So look at that, 55 store, which is uh, the Thompson, uh, penthouse 1025 for 1.75, one Bedford penthouse 2 for 4.7, uh, 55, oh, that's Bursey, that's a very nice place, that's 12 for 2 million, uh, Don Cliff, and on and on we go, okay? Um, back to the list, uh, I think I mentioned most penthouses have high ceilings, 10, 11, sometimes 12 foot. So that also makes them a little more expensive, you know, because there's more concrete there, there's more construction costs, but also there's the value, the perceived value of penthouse, which is the top unit, the scarcity, not enough, the features, the finishes, always the best. Okay. The other thing that penthouses tend to have is they tend to have the best appliances. So the developer, when they build the penthouse, they're going to put all the bands and whistles they can because it's really, it's also a showcase for the developer. So developer, you know, if you're a developer and you're building penthouse, it's got to be, first of all, don't put small units in your penthouse. I think that's a bad strategic mistake that reflects on your own brand, on your own company, not very good. Okay, so don't do it. Just don't. Um, what you can do is make larger suites of the penthouse floor, make sure your floor is higher if you can, high ceilings, and put all the bells and whistles in the in those penthouse units, okay? 
and then you sell them at, at a higher markup, of course. Um, but that is, you know, when when you when you if you're a developer watching this, okay, you gotta put everything you can in your penthouse. You gotta make your penthouse your declaration of everything that you got because people are gonna walk in the penthouse and judge you on your development skills based on the panels because that's your showcase that's what you show me what you got do you understand design did you design the rooms properly is your interior design good you know does does the room make sense or it's just another drag and drop architect that does not does not make good uh, floor plan it's unfortunately there's way too many of those so your penthouse is where you put everything okay it's like Mercedes you know they make a two hundred thousand dollar car which is amazing but you could expect from Mercedes also the $55,000 car to be pretty good because you know you're judging Mercedes on the top one. So you're gonna make sure that the top unit at the top floor is the top unit. Okay, so there you go. So th there's an there's a nice integrated kitchen here, some bar. It actually looks a very nice unit. And the price not too bad, you know, for penthouse floor. Um, I would imagine there's a 10 to 20 percent markup. Um, above the units are below you so you know if your typical average unit in the building is a uh, thousand square feet you can expect the penthouse floor to be twelve hundred square uh, twelve hundred dollars a foot okay and this one is a nice unit you see it's nice and clean it's got a bath and it's got a large uh, walk-in shower kind of thing toilets behind kind of half covered that's proper so that's what you want to see in the penthouse so that's actually a very nice unit okay I actually really like it and I'm glad I did the video because maybe I would have missed it unless I did. And you got a little bit of a balcony. It's not much, but you know, you're like, you run on front street, but it's good enough for me. I'll take it. Maybe two balconies here, actually. Okay. Um, level two appliances. So we talked about the appliances. Okay. This is the site, yossikaplan.com. It's a new site. I've been having a lot of fun putting information here. And it's kind of a mix of everything. I'm putting some stuff that I find for sale that is really good. I'm putting some um, some commentary. You got some videos here. Uh, this is actually a good video. It's only six minutes. Usually I make them a little longer. Um, re uh, rental guarantee, recent offers, links to the other sites, some Brantford stuff, and more and more and more stuff. Okay. So today we talked about the penthouse, Toronto penthouse for sale. Why you should buy the penthouse? Why is penthouse a bit more expensive? Why it's more ritzy? Why you should buy a penthouse? And why you should invest in penthouse? All right, that's it.